What's up, YouTube? So recently, Jada Pinkett Smith, along with her mother and her daughter, sat down with the women in the Curry family, including Aisha Curry, Steph Curry's wife, and Steph's mother, sister, and sister-in-law. In the revealing conversation, Aisha Curry, who has been very open about her faith in Christ, admitted that even though she is married, she still sometimes wants attention from men other than her husband. And the reason I mentioned that Aisha Curry is open about her faith in Christ is because I noticed that whenever people are open about their faith in Christ, people try to use their faith as a weapon against them. This goes back to when Christ actually walked the earth and people were hating on him and anyone who followed him. And it continues through today. And when a Christian woman admits to having an insecurity or a flaw, so many people want to bash her over the head with her Christianity as if she's supposed to be perfect just because she's a Christian or because she's married, she's not supposed to notice that men don't hit on her. Here's what Aisha said in her own words. Baby, whoa, okay. Now, you know, when I really looked at it that way, I really had to have more compassion and um, understanding. more understanding. Something that really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, like there are all these women like throwing themselves, but me, like the past 10 years, like I don't have any of that. Like I have zero, this sounds weird, but like male attention. And so then you like I begin to realize. internalize it and I'm like, you're, is something wrong with you're me? Not, like, you're, you're not looking. looking. What? You're not like, looking. You're not even you're not looking. But I'm gonna tell you something else too. When your radar's turned off, because I dealt with that for years too, like, and I was young, like you. Yeah, I'm like, like oh my God, fair. I mean. Because I don't but, want it, but yeah. it would be nice to know that like, someone's looking. But that when your radar's turned <laughs> off, yeah. right, that can get real dangerous. Don't ever think for one minute that it ain't no some men out there looking at you like I wish. Honestly. And, and I'm gonna tell you who knows that more than anybody. And I wanna ask a question. So clearly Aisha started out by saying that this is an insecurity for her. So she knows it's crazy, but it's just something that crosses her mind from time to time. But it was still hard for a lot of people to understand how she could be happily married to an NBA star who, as far as we know, is faithful to her. Yet she still notices that other men don't hit on her. Here's what Twitter had to say about Aisha's revelation. So many people were saying that if Aisha Curry needs attention, Derek Fisher is the one to give it to her. And someone brought up an old tweet where Aisha was actually complaining about men hitting on her. However, some people completely understood what Aisha was saying. Like this person who said, all sis said was I just want to know if I still got it. Now y'all hate Aisha for being human? And this person who said, people who have been in long relationships understand Aisha Curry. The situationship gangs are the only ones making noise. And Jamel Hill retweeted Brittany Packnett who said Aisha Curry was vulnerable about insecurities folks deal with daily. I call that brave. We can choose to accept invitations to discuss the ways our socialization damages confidence. Confidence is essential to success, yet we damage it in women daily. That's the discussion. And Jamel Hill responded saying, Black women have so few spaces to discuss their insecurities. We also forget that Aisha is still young and most people cannot possibly understand what it's like to be married to someone that famous. It takes a tremendous amount of self-care and self-awareness. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Aisha Curry saying that she sometimes feels insecure that men are not hitting on her like women hit on her husband. Do you think she's crazy for even allowing those thoughts to cross her mind? Or do you think it's a valid feeling to have as a spouse of a celebrity? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. You can also discuss celebrity news and entertainment on the Ask Kirby app. You can use the app to discuss your favorite celebrities and get advice all in one app. 
The celebrity gossip does get a little messy, so just remember it is allegedly and is completely anonymous. No email or registration is required. You just download the app and jump right into it. And it's free and available for both iPhone and Android. Hey there, Layla. I've got some tea for you, girl. And it's hot, fresh, and messy. With the Ask Herbie app, you can now sit back and sip some tea or share some tea all anonymously. And while you're there, you can even anonymously request advice or give advice to others on anything from relationships to everyday issues. Plus, listen to Herbie as he picks his favorite topics and replies to them himself in the Herbie Says section of the app. It's easy to join the Ask Herbie community. Just download the free app on your Android or iPhone device and jump right into the party. No email address or registration is required. And remember, it's completely anonymous. So what are you waiting for? Download Ask Herbie today. Attention YouTubers, you've asked and I'm delivering. I'm sharing with you step by step my secrets to making money on YouTube. And my free guide, How to Make Money on YouTube, is the first step to learning exactly what to do to make money on YouTube. So go to my new website, howtomakemoneyonyt.com to download your copy today. The link is here on the screen, it's in the description box, and it's in the comments, so you can't miss it.